Hello everybody. We were talking about morphology in surrounding plants and we had completed the roots and now we were going to talk about the stem. So let's as always start by defining what is stem. So stem stem is a part of the plant which is positively phototropic phototropic negatively geotropic and negatively negatively hydrotropic okay so sorry hydrotropic stem is a part of the plant which is positively phototropic negatively geotropic and negatively hydrotropic okay so let me explain these terms for you if you were not watching the previous video where i have already explained these terms in the uh, definition of the roots but let me still uh, explain them again okay so what do you mean by positively phototropic okay so if this is the ground and the plant has grown over it right so a plant has grown over it like that then in the natural condition it will receive light from the sun obviously if you draw the cartoon figure of sun okay so now this plant grows upwards that means we can say that it is growing towards the light towards where the light source is so it is positive towards means positive and it is phototropic photo means light and tropic means uh, it is attracted towards light so that means it is positively phototropic but what do i mean by geo negatively geotropic geo means the earth or the soil so this is the earth and negatively means it is growing away from it. and you can see that this stem is growing any plant stem grows away from this earth this is the root that grows towards the earth and what do i mean by negatively hydrotropic you may recall that if there is a, there are roots in this plant the roots will reach till the ground water level okay they will go and reach the ground water level if here is the ground water level let's say so hydro meaning water and it is negatively hydrotropic means it goes away from the ground water level so water is present generally below the below the stem so it is going away from the water also so let us compare and contrast it with that of the root root is a structure of the plant which goes towards the water so it is positively hydrotropic it goes towards the soil or earth so it is positively geotropic and it goes away from the light that means it is negatively phototropic so if we try to differentiate between the stem and the root we will already get three points for this uh, tropism phototropism geotropism and hydrotropism are shown differently in root and stem but that is not the end let us talk about some more points which can be the different different which can differentiate between roots and stem so let me make my first arrow for my first point first of all root do not contain bud uh, sorry roots do not contain nodes roots do contain buds internodes but the stem contains these things or these features you can say them features okay these things okay now let me explain what 
uh, do I mean by nodes in the nodes? So, if you are watching my previous videos, I have explained it many times in my videos. But still, if you have not watched it, let me explain for you. So, this is the stem. Let this be the stem. And let this be the root. Let me draw any kind of root for it because it must serve the purpose only. So, it is a very rough diagram for a root. I am drawing line in it. And you will you may observe in some plants, but all plants contain some nodes at spaced at equal inter equal gaps. Okay, so these nodes will be spaced. And what are these nodes? We will study about them more in the anatomy chapter. But for a brief, uh, let me give a brief introduction about these nodes, as this, these nodes are the at the part at the places where the uh, meristematic cells are present and in the internodal areas this space the uh, permanent cells are present so they are dominating and in which be in between these meristematic cells are squeezed like a sandwich okay that was my analogy you can make yours so let me write that this is the called the node and and this area from here to here everywhere this area is called the internodes in the node okay that was nodes and internodes now let me say that roots do not contain these apical meristem, meristematic cells, but not apical, sorry, they are intercalary, intercalary meristematic cells in them. P uh, okay, so they do not contain nodes and internodes. We will learn more about intercalary meristem, so don't worry, in the anatomy chapter. Just hold your questions, or you can study it by your own, and wait till I make a video. Another point of difference is that it is very common point of difference if we are speaking that stem contains leaves, branches, flowers and other such structures. But a root do not contain them. So this is a very common observation that roots do not contain leaves, branches, or flower. But uh, and you can it is also serving as a point of differentiation between roots and uh, uh, stem. But have you ever wondered why? Stem doesn't stem does contain do contain so these structures and root do not contain them. You can pause the video and think about it. And when you have got the answer, uh, play the video to uh, see the answer. What you have got is right or wrong. But let me say the answer that the, the it is a very common thing that why the, uh, stem the stem contains these leaves because think about the function of the leaves leaves function is to do photosynthesis ok so if it is present below the soil then it will not receive sunlight that's why that's why it will not be able to do photosynthesis then what is the meaning to have underground leaves so roots do not contain them on the other hand roots do not contain flowers flower the meaning of flowers is to uh, do fertilization or do pollinate poll pollination which means transfer of pollens or receiving pollens and these are done by the wind or by any insects or such factors but if they are present below the soil then how this cannot be possible but if you still don't know this no problem because these are not important it is a common general observation that the stem roots do not contain flowers trees and other such structures so that was the uh, fifth point of differentiation between roots and the stem so 
that was the point of difference now let us talk about another point of difference and it is probably the last one which can difference me according to me that 10 here are multicellular structures but root hairs are just cell cellular projections oh sorry this is just i think okay so what do i mean by this point let me again explain this okay some stem you have you may have not have heard of but some stem contain hairs stem hairs okay some stem contains small hairs in them and what is the function of stem hairs as the root hairs can increase the surface area for absorption what do you think can be the function of the stem hairs pause the video and think of it i encourage you to do it and the answer is that uh, sometimes there is herbiv uh, some herbivorous animals eat this plant up so the plant has evolved against this and have developed some hair like structures so how can this hair protect the plant if these hairs are there then the uh, herbivorous animals will feel some some irritated by these hairs and they will uh, uh, they will gradually stop eating this plant so this plant is safe saved so that is a type of kind of evolution example so that was a evolutionary example so that was a function of root hairs but have do you know what this root hairs consists of let me zoom and sorry these are the stem hairs so do you know what the stem hairs consist of let me zoom in and show you so if i zoom this much part of the stem you will find that the stem has become very thick and you will see the cells inside the stem okay if you zoom in you will find the cells inside of the stem there will be other cells also but we will focus now on the surface cells as this will bear the stem hairs okay so let me again zoom in on this surface cells so if this is one stem this is one of the cells okay the hairs which are attached to it are other cells they are multicellular structures okay they are other cells two or three cells may be attached to it differently they are other cells different from this cell and they are the stem hairs okay these structures are the stem hairs okay and what about the root hairs how does the root hair different how is the root hair different from that of the stem hair then let me talk about the root hair okay so what is the function of the root hair as i have told just some some minutes earlier these root hairs are small structures present on the root and the function of them is to increase the surface area for absorption in the root okay the root hairs are pre generally present in this permanent zone okay so let that is not important but let me zoom in to one part okay that then you will find that the root will have these surface cells i am not going to talk about anatomy much in the anatomy chapter we will study how these cells are arranged inside the root okay but leave it for now just i am going to tell that here there will be a cortex area from both sides and on the middle there will be the pericycle and the pith and xylem and phloem all the things but let us focus on these cells again and let us zoom in to this cell 
we will see that the root hairs are attached to this cell but they are not attached they are just the cellular projections like this okay they are merely the cellular projections so these are the root hairs let me write over here these are the root hairs so that was root hair so you can just imagine that what is the difference between the root hairs and stem hairs they were multicellular structures and here in the root hair that this cell only is uh, is giving birth to the root hairs it is not a cell also it is a part of a cell okay so that was the difference between the stem and the root thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please like below the video and please give your valuable comments thank you for watching okay so bye